Hey everybody, it's Steve with Sky194, and I appreciate you taking the time to stop in and visit. Check out my video. We're here in the US CP server here in ACC at Masano. I'm on outside pole. Got a bunch of guys in here. You got Blue Team, Miguel's right behind me, Dunham's in here, uh, Zhang's in here. He's the one that won the, the uh, steering wheel. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that right. So wrong, so I mean, so I apologize. Todd's in here. Um, like I said, you got all kinds of guys in here. Guys that are on the channel. So that's really nice. Hopefully, I got a crazy setup, something I'm usually never do. So I'll have to see how it goes. I don't know if it'll work or not. Green light, give it all you got. pit stop so these tires got to make it all the way I mind staying with him. I mean, unless something opens the door or something, I'm not really, I'm not really too concerned about it.
back there too. Still all in it. Dang it, ran wide. Bentleys are really strong here at Misano. Man, I've seen them dominate so many times. really good in practice the, the amount that I was able to practice. I just hope it stays that way.
great race so far. A little concerned about my left front. Car on the left. Shoot. On the left. Dang it, that was my fault. Yellow flag is sector two. That was my fault. Let's see if we can catch her back up. Barely touched him. I mean, I just barely touched him. I thought it was, I thought I missed him, and I I didn't. Barely hit him. I was hoping he wouldn't lose it, but. Don't take much when you're in the corner like that. back there. He's in seventh. Dunham's back there. Yeah, I apologize to him afterwards. I didn't need to do that. No mess up. I thought I missed him, but I didn't. He's kind of geeking a little bit, so that wasn't it, the fault. That was my fault, but I'm just saying he is geeking a little. over the bumps.
still in second, so he's holding them off. Make a mistake for us to catch him. I'm pretty sure. where I was going, I was just kind of, I was kind of a guess.
Sally Geeks. He's the only human. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it makes me nervous getting near him. Kicked him out. He's gone now. See if you can see him.
pace for sure. Tough against uh, Miguel. And Zhang. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but. Catch him. He got so close, he's, he's picking up the pace.
Cars look really good. Lap.
Staying right by my delta. I can't do much better than that right now. after this. Great race. Oh, perfect fuel. Thank you, Joe Blow.
That was good. <laughs> B3, you're on the podium. Excellent job, mate. Well managed all the way through. <laughs> That was good. That was fun. <laughs> Man, what a great race. What a great win. Yeah, that was that was fun. That was just fun. <laughs> yeah, that was just great. Well, I'll go check out some of the data, and then um, you know I'll return and uh, be back in a second and uh, see how the uh, setup is. All righty. Well, I hope you enjoyed that race because I did. It was just such a man. I'm telling you, what a race! I could I could get used to that every race. I wish all they were all like you know all like that. And it was just fun competing and uh, you know just battling out with different cars. It was just really fun. But uh, isn't that a great looking car? Great looking Porsche. But um, anyway, I did tried a couple different things, trying to see um, if I could pick up any and. Um, there's a little bit of difference, so I'm actually going to put up, even though they're not soup, they're not really uh, huge differences between the two. I am going to put up two different setups. One will be max. I'll probably put like um, either HD high downforce, or I'll put you know MD max downforce, something like that, and next to the uh, my setup. Uh, that way, you know that was the one with the max. Uh, pretty much maxed out on on the downforce, and the other one isn't. That's when I tried to differ the difference between the two. Um, the one I ran in the race was max downforce. I ran maxed out, um, but I tried to take some of that out to try to find maybe a little bit more speed, a little bit more happy medium. But it does make it more nervous. So we're gonna go over two laps, and I'm gonna show you um, this lap here is the max downforce coming up here. So this is, and I did make an adjustment since the, a little adjustment since the race. Give it a little bit more rotation, just the next step up, just to help it, you know, since it's got so much downforce on it. Because um, you remember, the Porsche, the rear doesn't move. Wherever you set the rear at is where it's going to stay for the race. The front is the one that's going to move drastically because the fuel's in the nose. So no matter how much you pick up the back, it, that's where it's going to stay. So a little high isn't the end of the world because it's not going to go anywhere anyway as the fuel drops. Um, so the front is where you really want it because, like I said, with the with the difference in the front arrow variation between full and empty tanks. But you know it looks really good. And, you know it just it feels good. Feels a little more solid, a little bit more drivability, um, which I always like. But I mean I want to go for performance too. So. Um, I love the Porsche. Definitely one of my favorites. Probably driven it more than any car, any other car, probably in ACC, most likely. Don't know that for sure, but you see, this 151. That was 151 was the straightaway speed. I mean, I didn't check every lap, but I checked a few, and they're all pretty much the same. You see, it hasn't even really moved nothing and it's got well it's got 67 liters but it started with 80 same as I did in the race so I mean it's still got a good decent amount of fuel and that was like the third or fourth lap and that was a 134.78 so I mean you know I'm not saying I couldn't have ran that I probably could have ran that in the race because you know in the beginning when the tires were fresh I was behind the Bentley, and I, you know, I didn't really want to push it, trying to save the tires, and I didn't want to get over anxious and try to drive it in there or something on him. I was just pretty much content of just staying there, and then try to push maybe a little harder. I was hoping maybe his tires would wear a little bit, um, and I could get them later. But to be honest, um, I'm still really happy with it. 
So let's go to the next one. So 134.785 is my fast lap. I actually duplicated it. That was another lap that was exactly the same. Now this is the one that's got a little less downforce. So this one just feels a little bit more, especially that dog leg down the back straightaway. It feels a little bit more on edge. Um, you got to be careful. Really be, um, you know, consistent on where you're lining that car up. You do not want to be turning when you're on the brakes. You want to be straight, and you, you want to watch your trail braking going in there because otherwise it'll you'll loop it. I still got a good amount of rotation in it and of course it's got some less wing so it definitely rotates quicker you will know, we'll see the speed 153 so it's two miles an hour faster than the high downforce now that's the best uh, there's some other laps I did check that was 152 so you just can say it's a good one to two miles an hour faster down the straightaway That was a 134.725. So we're talking like 500s. That, that's about it. But I think there's more in it. It's just a matter of getting used to it. Probably, you know, there's probably a tenth in it. So, um, you know, but, you know, you got to be careful because, again, it, it wants to slide a little more. Um, and, of course, you know, maybe if you had a um, shorter race, you know, that you're getting a pit stop might be something to consider. Um, you know, but if you had a longer race like I just did with no pit stop, I don't know. I think I would rather go with the higher downforce. And even if you're sacrificing a tenth or so, I'd rather try to be more consistent with it. But that's just me. Um, either way. So let's go over them. Um, let's see what we got. We're going to go over the regular one the lower downforce still got a lot of downforce but it's just not maxed out um we've got 25.1 left front and left rear 26 right front and right rear the toe is a negative 0.16 on the front with the camber at negative 3.7 on the left front negative 3.6 on the right front caster is 9.4 the toe on the rear is negative 0.14 with the camber at negative 3.1 on the left and negative 3 on the right and again, I changed that from what I learned uh, at the other track that I talked about on another setup. Um, so definitely makes a big difference. Electronics, we've got three, four, and three. That's normal stuff. Um, of course, I was running some shorter runs too as far as uh, to see what it would do with low fuel. So... Uh, low fuel, I think it's gonna have. You're gonna have to take some out. So again, I would take just one click out, and that's just to basically give it a little bit more stability on that, especially that dog leg, because I mean you got a lot more rotation than you do with the max downforce. Um, but let's look at the tires. Tire wear is you know pretty good. Um, you know, 282, 280. Um, And then up here it's 287, 288, 290, 290. So the tire wear is really good on both of them. So I shouldn't worry about that. Any roll bars four on the front, 53 on the brake bias. Um, I really would go with 54 because I tried 53 and it's just too much. Uh, you could probably get a 53 as you go down. I mean, as the tires wear, I think you could go down to 53. So I don't think it'd be a problem. But when the tires are fresh, um, I think I'd leave it there because it's just you got too much rotation and it'll just come around on you too easy i was trying to do a qualifying and and basically um that was too much steering ratio is 12 
springs in the front are 137,000 with a bump stop rate of 800 and a bump stop range of 10 on the front. And on the rear, the springs are 174,500 with a bump stop rate of 600 and a bump stop range of 5. On the rear, the anti roll bar is 2 and the preload on the diff is 80. Shocks on the front. On the left front, it's 8262. Two. And on the right, it's 7252. Two. So those are different from left to right. And that's probably mainly because of that real high speed dog leg right there. He gets a little bit more uh, load up here on the left side, especially the left front. Uh, the rear is the same. It's 5142. And of course, I try to dial those in with, with the Motec. Arrow. 53 all the way down, 73 in the right height. Like I said, I, just, I did with 74. I took one out just to try to get a teeny bit more stability because it's definitely wanting to come around pretty easy, and you got to really be careful with it. So, But just keep that in mind, 73, 74, you, you know, keep it right around that way um, and try and see whatever you like, whatever fits your driving style. Splitters 3 on the front, 10 in the rear wing, and a 4 and a 3 in the brake ducts. And the front arrow variation is a 2.5 to the positive. And like I said, that is the going to be the lower down. It's still got plenty of downforce with the 10 rear wing, but I'm also trying to get a lot of rotation out of it. They're, you know, the front's all the way down. But again, when you take the fuel, let's say you only got 4 liters. Well, so you got, it comes all the way up to 56, and it was 53. So see, the front comes up 3. And you go all the way down to 0.8 on the front arrow variation. So you lose a ton, um, like I said, as the fuel when the fuel gets low. So see, big difference. Big difference. The more fuel you get, the bigger the difference is going to be. Um, so basically, let's go to the higher downforce one. And this is the higher downforce. Now, now the tires are the same, so all this is the same. 25 one left side, 26 right side, negative toes, negative 0.16, negative camber 3.7, caster 9.4, toe in the rear is point, negative 0.14 with the camber at negative 3.1 and negative 3. And of course the right side, right front, the camber is negative 3.6. 3, 4, and 3. Of course this is the same. Um, this is all the same. Basically um, everything here is the same. Now, the only thing difference with the brake bias here is you can be more aggressive. I started off with 54, but you can go all the way down to 52, uh, about 52 and a half. So you can drop this pretty quick. Once, Really, this is just a starting point. Um, now, I would drop it down pretty quick after the tires are heated up, um, but I just do that for so that, you know, the first lap or two, going that dog lake, you don't end up looping it or something like that. Um, let's see. Shocks are all the same. Same 8262 two, and 7252 two, and 5142 on the rear. So they're all the same. Arrow, um, this is the difference. And see, I changed this, but this is what I had. There you go. This is what I had. Uh, actually, I had this. This is what I had in the race. I had 53 all the way down. Rear ride height was 75, and the rear wing was maxed out at 12. Now, this is what I had in the race. Um, brake ducts were down one in the race because it was cold. It was cold, so I mean, but this is the brake ducts were normal at four and three. But I did when I the lap that you just saw, I had it at 76, and I did like it a little better. Um, it just was rotating a little bit easier, and um, I think it just it, I think it would help out a little bit. So again, um, I'll settle for that, and I will put both of these setups again, and and put uh, the abbreviation in there so you know which one is for what. And uh, that way, in case you can try one, or you might, might want want to try one and try to make the the uh, lesser downforce, make it like a qualifying setup or something. I mean, there's all kinds of possibilities. So there's a, all kinds of things you can do. Um, but I just try to give something that every you know most people can drive and still be fast. And um, I loved it. I mean, it was a great race, and you know I was right there. I didn't see nobody pass me down the back straightaway. So, and especially if you're in a draft, like I was in a draft of that Bentley, I mean, I was staying right there. I mean, yeah, I might lose a teeny bit, but, you know, you're going to be getting pulled down the straightaway. You're still going to be able to draft and pick up speed. So, um, that's not, you know, not an issue. So, I sure hope you enjoyed the video and give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. It really would help my little channel. 
to grow and um, also, you know, share it. Anybody that doesn't know about it, and uh, I really appreciate it. And thank you to anybody, that, you know, with the I, with the PayPal, which will be a link in the description. And thank you to anybody that you know that has donated that way. I really appreciate it. It's really above and beyond, and I, I really thank you. No matter the amount, I really appreciate it. And of course, the link of this both setups will be down the, in the, the uh, description below. So I think it's time for me to go to bed. I'm beat. So y'all take care, and we'll see you the next time. See ya.